Hello, dear student. My congratulations. We start in second semester and I wish you excellent marks and good knowledge. And today uh, we had new topic in gastroenterology and discuss about chronic pancreatitis. So let's start. So, chronic pancreatitis is a progressive disabling fibroinflammatory disease of the pancreas of variable clinic course and is usually associated with permanent loss of exocrine and endocrine function over a period of time. The pancreas is an oblong shaped organ positioned uh, at the level of the transpyloric plate. With the Exception of the tail of the pancreas, it is peritoperitoneal organ located deep within the upper abdomen in the epigastrium and left hypochondrium regions. The pancreas is typically divided into five parts. Head is the widest part of the pancreas. It lies within the C-shaped curve created by the duodenum and is connected to it by connective tissue. Uh, alternate process a projection arising from the lower part of the head and extending medially to lie beneath the body of the pancreas. It lies posterior to the superior mesenteric vessels. Neck located between the head and the body of the pancreas. It overlies the superior mesenteric vessels, which form a groove. It is posterior aspect. Body centrally located crossing the mid a line of the human body to lie behind uh, the stomach and to the left uh, of the superior mesenteric vessels. Tail the left end of the pancreas that lies within close proximity to the helium of the spleen. It is contained within the planar renal ligament with the splenic vessels. This is only part of the pancreas that is intraperitoneal. The pancreatic duct runs the length of the pancreas and unite. Uh, with the common bile duct forming the hepatopancreatic ample of water, this structure open, then opens into the duodenum via the myoduodenal papilla. <coughs> pancreatic physiology, exocrine and endocrine functions. Exocrine pancreatic acinar cells produce digestive enzymes which are stored in the secretory granules. The pancreatic exocrine secretion is regulated by cephalic, gastric, and intestinal stimuli. <coughs> acinar cells secreted pancreatic juice made of the enzymes uh, amylase, lipase, and proteases. An exocrine secretion is stimulated by vagus nerve secreting halicystokinin and endocrine function. Islets of Langer guns, clusters of hormone producing <coughs> cells secreted directly into circulation. Endocrine cells of the pancreas, beta cells produce insulin, alpha cells produce leucagon, D cells. Uh, uh, produce some uh, statin. Uh, <clears throat> and classification system currently in use are Manchester classification, ABC classification, <clears throat> M-A-N-N-H-E-I-M classification, T-I-G-A-R-O classification, and Rosemont classification. <clears throat> Uh, the Manchester classification system uses imaging modalities and clinical scenes of pancreatitis. The degree of severity is most influenced by the presence of exocrine and or endocrine insufficiency of the uh, presence of complication, while major findings are of minor importance. The ABC classification recommends similar findings classification system. And you may see a variant of uh, Manchester classification, mild uh, variant, moderate variant, and, and uh, variant. <coughs> uh, different guidelines recommend using the TIGARO classification. This system comprises six etiologic groups. 
toxic metabolic, <coughs> idiopathic, genetic, autoimmune, recurrent acute pancreatitis, and obstructive groups. And uh, there are M, A, double N, H, E. EIM system is the only on offering a severity index and is used accordingly. Finally, after a complex procedure, a score, a score <coughs> uh, of between uh, from 0 uh, to 25 represented, the severity of uh, pancreatitis is calculated. And clinical classification of uh, pancreatitis. Uh, three categories. Uh, chronic uh, calcifin pancreatitis, alcoholic uh, nutritional her her hereditary. Uh, next, chronic idiopathic pancreatitis, juvenile, senile, and third variant. Uh, chronic obstructive pancreatitis and the course of the disease may be mild, moderate and severe. <clears throat> Etiology of uh, pancreatitis. The most common risk factor for uh, pancreatitis is alcohol abuse with a logarithmic risk in risk increase although the type of alcohol consumed is irrelevant some authors suggest at least <clears throat> uh, 80 uh, gram a day for a period of at least six years smoking and most probably an independent risk factor since smoking leads to the progression of pancreatitis all patients should be advice to stop smoking. <clears throat> Genetic factor also contribute to pancreatitis development. The most important genetic risk factor are variants in cationic trypsogen, serine protease inhibitor causal type 1 and carboxypeptidase A1. Well, the genetic uh, susceptibility genes are uh, cystic fibrosis transmembrane conductance regulatory, uh, high motrypsinogenesis, and carboester melasa. Additionally, autoimmune processes can lead to the development of pancreatitis, cholecystolithiasis, and cholecystolithiasis. Alone are not considered risk factor for the development of pancreatitis. Protective environmental factors have not been described. <clears throat> Whether anatomic anomalies such as pancreas division increase the pancreatitis risk is still a matter of debate. Obstructive uh, pancreatitis develop are a secondary complication. Uh, depending on the etiology, uh, chronic pancreatitis has different disease course and long-term complications. Epidemiological studies have shown that calcification <coughs> and exocrine and endocrine insufficiency develop after a short time period in alcoholic pancreatitis patients compared to other etiologies. Also, causal treatment option for alcoholic Mm, pancreatitis are currently not available. Cessation of alcohol consumption may reduce <coughs> uh, the rate of progression, decrease pancreatic pain, and partly restore pancreatic exocrine function.
In patient with genetic uh, predispositions, the age of onset is generally early and exocrine and endocrine insufficiency are more prevalent compared to other etiologies. Patients with uh, inherited uh, uh, pancreatitis seem to have a high risk of developing pancreatic adenocarcinoma. Uh, most likely, the early onset of the disease in this patient and the lung disease cause are the main reasons for increased risk of development of pancreatic cancer. Finally, recent studies have demonstrated that the interaction of different genetic risk factors with each other or the interaction of other risk factors, such as pancreas division with genetic variations, might increase the risk of development of uh, pancreatitis. Pathophysiology chronic pancreatitis is a disease process characterized by irreversible damage to the pancreas as distinct from the reversible change not in acute pancreatitis. They when that initiate and then perpetuate the inflammatory process in the pancreas are becoming more clearly understood. Irrespective of the mechanism of injury, it is becoming apparent that stellate cell activation that results in cytokine expression <coughs> and production of extracellular matrix proteins cause acute and chronic inflammation and collagen deposition in the pancreas. Though the condition is defined by the presence of histologic abnormalities, including chronic inflammation, fibrosis and progressive destruction of both exocrine and eventually endocrine tissue. <clears throat> Chronic pancreatitis is characterized by progressive fibrotic destruction of the glandular tissue. The secretory parenchyma is destroyed by processes such as necrosis, apoptosis, inflammation, or duct obstruction. <clears throat> Increasing evidence indicates that pancreatic stellate cells are the main mediators of fibrosis related in the formation of extracellular matrix in the intestinal spaces and in the areas the SNR cells disappear or dark cells are injured. This process ultimately leads to progressive loss of the local morphology and structure of the pancreas be the deformation of the large duct and severe change in the arrangement and composition of the islets. <clears throat> uh, the fibrotic destruction of the pancreatic gland in irreversible and the morphological and structural change lead to the functional impairment of both endocrine and endocrine function, eventually leading to malnutrition and old diabetes. <clears throat> Now, the exact pathophysiologic, uh, pathophysiological mechanism initiated and maintained in the development of fibrosis in the pancreas are poorly understood but may be viewed as a progression similar uh, liver fibrosis, hence the initial injury to one or one of the various tissue compartments of cells. Mm, types of the pancreas leads to cells necrosis and or apoptosis and consequently release of cytokine growth factor. <clears throat> Either from immigrating inflammatory cells, especially macrophages and or nearby pre-existent epithelial or mesenchymal cells. <clears throat> the after damaged cells are a phagocytosed by macrophage sky and release of the cytokines, which is during disease activation and proliferation of resident microblast PSC sedated in the immediate surroundings of the original site of injury, which accordingly induce transformation into myofibroblast cells. <laughs> Thank 
preclinical future of uh, pancreatitis. <clears throat> Patients with chronic pancreatitis seek medical attention predominantly cause, uh, because of two symptoms, <clears throat> abdominal pain or multigestion and weight loss. Clinically, the patient experiences intermittent attacks or severe pain, often in the mid-abdomen or left upper abdomen and occasionally radiating in a bank-like fashion or localized to the mid-back. The pain may occur as after meals or independently of meals, but is not fleeting or transient and tends to last at least several hours. <clears throat> Unfortunately, patients often are symptomatic for years before the diagnosis is established. They will reach time from the onset of symptoms until a diagnosis of chronic pancreatitis is uh, 62 months. The delay in diagnosis is even longer in people without alcoholism. The natural history of pain and chronic pancreatitis is highly variable. Most patients experience intermittent headaches of pain and unpredictable intervals, while a minority of patients experience chronic pain. In most patients, pain severity as it decreases over the results over 5 25 years. Other symptoms associated with chronic pancreatitis include diarrhea and weight loss. This may due uh, as a to fear of eating. <clears throat> of due to pancreatic exocrine insufficiency and steatorrhea. <clears throat> Abdominal pain is the most significant symptoms and a major clinical challenge in chronic pancreatitis. It is present in up to 90% of the patient as a primary cause of hospitalization. Pancreatic pain is characteristically described as a contact constant, severe, dull, epigastric pain, uh, then often radiated to the back and typically uh, wor worsens after uh, high-fat meals. Where many different pain patterns have been described, ranging from no pain to recurrent episodes of pain and pain-free intervals, to constant pain with clusters of severe exacerbations. <clears throat> Lesion to intrapancreatic uh, nerves and the impact of the pathogenesis of pain in pancreatitis. Pancreatic duct hypertension. Uh, pain due to complication to the disease is also likely to contribute and adverse effect to treatment must not be overlooked as an additional source of pain. A maldigestion is manifested as chronic diarrhea, steatorrhea, weight loss, and fatigue. Patients with chronic abdominal pain may or may not progress to maldigestion, and 20% of patients will present uh, with uh, symptoms of maldigestion without a history of abdominal pain. Uh, physical findings uh, in uh, these patients are usually unimpressive, so that there is a disparity between the severity of abdominal pain and the physical things that usually consist of some mild tenderness. During an attack, patient may assume a characteristic position in the attempt to relieve the abdominal pain. Personally, a tender bonus uh, of mass may be palpated in the epigastrium, suggesting the presence of the pseudocyst on an inflammatory mass in the abdomen. Patients with advanced uh, disease exhibit decreased subcutaneous fat, tympanal wasting, sunken uh, supraclavicular force, and other physical signs of malnutrition. <laughs> physical examination on palpation of the abdomen, the following pain points and zone. Shuffled zone between the uh, between the vertical line passing through the navel and the 
this bisector of the angle form the vertical and horizontal lines passing through the narrow. Pay no tenderness in this area and most difficult for the localization of information is ahead of the pancreas. A uh, Gober grid scalpel area is similar to the Schofford area, but located on the left. <clears throat> Tenderness in this area is characteristic of information in the area of the pancreas body. Uh, this Jardine's point located uh, 6 cm above the novel along the line connecting the novel with the right armpit. Tenderness at this point is characteristic of the localization of information in the head of the pancreas. Uh, Gober grids or couch point, similar to the point of the this uh, Jardins, but located on the left tenderness at this point is observed with information of the tail of the pancreas. My Robson's point, located on the border of the outer middle third of the line connecting the narrow and the middle of the left coastal arch. Tenderness at this point is characteristic of information of the tail of the pancreas. The region of the coastal vertebral angle is left in painful with information of the body and tail uh, of the pancreas. With a lot of 10 cars of pancreatitis, a positive uh, sign uh, seen of uh, growth is determined atrophy of the subcutaneous fatty tissue in the area of the projection of the pancreas into the anterior abdominal wall. Examination may reveal Symptom of the red droppers, the presence of the red spots of the skin of the abdomen, chest, back, and well as brown skin of the pancreas. Gray uh, turners uh, seen uh, uh, refers to uh, a bruising of the flank, the part of the body between the last rib and the top of the hip. Uh, the bruising appears as a blue discoloration. And is a uh, scene of the retroperitoneal hemorrhage or bleeding uh, behind the peritoneum, which is the lining of abdominal cavity. Uh, Colon uh, is seen as a hemorrhagic discoloration of the umbilical area to the intraperitoneal hemorrhage from the any case. One of the more frequent causes is acute hemorrhagic panicolis. Uh, gray churn uh, seen is a uh, uh, discoloration of the left flank associated with acute hemorrhagic pancreatitis. And diagnosis. Uh, how is diagnosis? Uh, test to establish the diagnosis. Ultrasound, uh, computer tomography, abdominal x-ray, magnetic resonance, uh, halangiopatography, endoscopy and ultrasound. Test of pancreatic function, correction of poor pancreatic juice after secretion injection, uh, fecal pancreatic elastase. And test of anatomic prior to surgery, uh, magnetic resonance, halangio pancreatographic. Blood test the diagnosis of early of mild chronic pancreatitis can be challenging because there is no biomarker for the disease. In contrast to acute pancreatitis, the serum amylase and lipids levels are usually most strikingly elevated in chronic pancreatitis. Elevation of serum bilirubin uh, and alkaline phosphatase may indicate holistasis secondary to common bile duct structure caused by chronic inflammation. Many patients have implied glucose tolerance with elevated fasting blood glucose level. While lower concentration of serum trypsin are relatively specific for advanced chronic pancreatitis, they are not sensitive enough to be helpful in most patients with mild to moderate disease. Laboratory studies to identify causative factor of chronic pancreatitis include serum, calcium, and triglycerides levels.
When common etiologies are not found, research protocols are available to test for genetic mutation in cationic trypsinogen. Fecal tests. Because malnutrition and malabsorption do not occur until more than 19% uh, of the pancreas has been destroyed. Steatoria is a manifestation of advanced chronic pancreatitis. Neither qualitative nor quantitative fecal fat analysis can detect early disease. Essays of fecal hemotrypsin and hemopancreatic elastase 1 have the same limitation, but are useful in confirming advanced chronic pancreatitis with exocrine insufficiency. The test allowed to determine or to rule out pancreatic exocrine insufficiency and its degree. <coughs> uh, pancreatic function test, direct test, indirect test. Direct tests is tested as the most sensitive and can be used to detect chronic pancreatitis uh, at its early stage. However, they are somewhat unwise, labor-intensive and expensive. Determination of duodenal aspirates, determination in pancreatic tooth. An indirect test. Non-invasive uh, tests of pancreatic function have been developed for detecting chronic pancreatitis. In principle, this test uh, work via oral administration of a complex substance that is hydrolyzed by a specific pancreatic enzyme to release a ma uh, make a substance. The intestine absorbs the makey, which when is measured in the serum or urine. These tests are capable of detecting moderate to severe chronic pancreatitis. The presence of renal, intestine, and liver disease may interfere with the accuracy of this test. And respiratory pancreatic test. A C triglyceride breast test, protein test with C marked E white amylase breast test. <clears throat> One of this uh, variant of those variant you may provide to your patient. Uh, radiographic evaluation of pancreatitis. Uh, radiographic evaluation of a patient with uh, suspected chronic pancreatitis usually proceeds from a non-invasive to more invasive approach. Abdominal CT imaging is an initial modality of choice followed by MRI endoscopic ultrasound and pancreas function testing. Uh, plain films show calcification due to pancreatic articulitis in 30% of affected patients. Generally, it manifests with an uh, focal enlargement or a mass-like lesion of the pancreas, which is hyper-enchating. Uh, it may be associated with main pancreatic duct, a common bile duct dilatation when localate, localized at the pancreat head, but they commonly uh, taper smoothly and are not completely obstructed, uh, obstructed duct penetrated sin. Ultrasound evaluation. The pancreas might appear atrophic, uh, calcified, or fibrotic. Findings that may be present or on ultrasound include hyperechogenicity, uh, alpha indicated fibrotic change, pseudocysts, pseudoaneurysm, presence of ascites. Ultrasound may also assist to differentiate between the autoimmune type versus acquired. Uh, the pancreas is a lunge. In the autoimmune time calcifications are visible in acquired types. Abdominal ultrasound can only be used to diagnose pancreatitis as advanced stage. Uh, computer tomography evaluation. Uh, computer tomography features of chronic pancreatitis include dilatation of the main pancreatic duct, pancreatic calcification, change in pancreatic size, shape, and control pancreatic pseudocysts. 
Endoscopic retrograde homongular pancreatic graphic is the most sensitive imaging study for chronic pancreatitis and demonstrated irregularities of the pancreatoduct structures. Calculate dilated segment and change in first and second other branch and cyst formation. Uh, this method um, helps in showing extent of disease and use of also staging. One limitation of halangiopancreatography, uh, however, is that it cannot be used to evaluate the pancreatic parenchyma and histologically proven chronic pancreatitis has been documented in the setting of normal findings on pancreatogram. Magnetic resonance halangiopancreatographic provides information of the pancreatic parenchyma and uh, adjacent abdominal viscera and uh, use heavily T2 weighted image to visualize uh, the biliary and pancreatic ductal system. The use of the secretin during study enhances the quality of the pancreatic ground. Accuracy is improving and Magnetic resonance uh, hollandiopancreatographic is relatively safe, reasonably accurate, non-invasive, fast, and very useful is planning surgical and endoscopic intervention. <clears throat> uh, histological findings of pancreatitis. Uh, in the early stages of pancreatitis, the parenchyma exhibits an increase in connective tissue around the ducts and between the lobules. The degree of inflammation is minimal to moderate, consisting mostly of T lymphocytes and patchy fo focal process unevenly affects the pancreas. With increasing severity, the connective tissue progresses between the arsene, which gradually become distorted and tend to disappear. It once this this uh, uh, once disease fibrosis tissue replaces the arsenal tissue and the pancreas become contracted small and hot. The islets of longer guns are rarely spared until the very late in the disease process. In chronic calcific pancreatitis, plaques of precipitated protein develop within the ductal system. While they may be observed, it all types of chronic pancreatitis in alcoholic and tropical form, these plugs tend to involve into calculi by deposition of calcium within them. The calcified pancreatic calculi are distributed irregularly. And conceptual diagnosis algorithm based on the new mechanical definition of disease. With clinical suspicion of disease, uh, this algorithm suggests the core contents of three future clinical risk and biomakers to make a diagnosis, and it divides the approach into the three levels on investigation, ABC. Once a diagnosis is made, then the progressive workup can focus on issues related to management. So you may see clinical features, uh, risk uh, in according with uh, TIGAR uh, or classification and bio, mm, biomarkers. And treatment. No curative treatments for chronic pancreatitis exist. Medical therapy is determined primarily by symptoms. If no anatomic explanation of abdominal pain can be found, medical therapy can be attempted. This therapy includes main control with anesthetic patients and a trial of non coated pancreatic enzymes. The goals of medical treatment are following modify behaviors that may exacerbate the uh, natural history of the disease, enable to um, enable the pancreas to heal itself, determine the cause of abdominal pain and elevate it, detect pancreatic exocrine insufficiency and restore digestion and absorption to normal, and diagnose and treat endocrine insufficiency. Uh, what first step in treatment of chronic pancreatitis?
is diet. The diet low its fat and high in protein and carbohydrates is recommended, especially in patients with diarrhea. The degree of restriction depends on the severity of fat malabsorption, generally an intake of 20 grams a day or less is sufficient. Patients to continue to suffer from diarrhea following fat restriction require medical therapy, malabsorption of the fat, a soluble vitamin, uh, A, D, E, K, and vitamin B12 may also occur. Oral supplement of this enzyme is recommended. Management of pain in pancreatitis. From a social point of view, patient with chronic pancreatitis who continue to consume alcohol after appropriate patient care, education, still wearing care, and should be encouraged to stop alcohol use the means of the counseling attendance at Alcoholic Anonymous. And was a program urgent intervention should be performed in patients who continue to consume alcohol. In general, elective intervention or procedures should be performed with patients and patients who are actively consuming alcohol. Uh, patient with uh, uh, pancreatitis often experience pain in the state of pancreatic dark obstruction. Endoscopic demons are uh, decompressive produce including uh, hongeopancreatographic with pancreatic sphincteratomy, uh, stone clearance, uh, stricture dilatation, and pancreatic duct uh, standing. Uh, antioxidant therapy uh, has a benefit in treatment of pain, uh, pancreatitis. Uh, the exact mechanism by which this Agents could reduce pain is not fully clear. Most theories propose that these agents reduce oxidative stress and provide an anti-inflammatory effect. If this agent will help, uh, they could potentially be used as alternative to other medications, include narcotics. And pharmacological restor restoration of digestion and absorption. Patient with pancreatitis should have periodic relation of malnutrition, including tests for osteoporosis and fat-soluble vitamin deficiency. The treatment of steatorrhea with pancreatic enzymes in straight words even through complete correlation of steroid ray is unusual. Enzyme therapy usually brings diarrhea under control and restores absorption. Uh, of fat to an acceptable level and affects weight gain. The most widely used enzyme preparation is porcine pancreatin. Uh, the preparation contains a mixture of protease, lipase, and amylase. Pancreatic enzyme supplement improve fat absorption and hence reduce theatre, and this may have beneficial effect on uh, drugs absorption. Patients who are unable to swallow into capsules may carefully open capsule and contents mix with a small amount of acidic sulfate with a pH of uh, uh, one half or less, uh, such as uh, apple loss of administrate with uh, um, apple cells via a gastrotomy tube with a diameter of uh, 14 French or larger. Uh, if administered orally, the mixture should be swallowed immediately and followed with water of juice to ensure complete ingestion. And we may see a variant of uh, pancreatin. You may see uh, <clears throat> name of uh, drugs, creon, uh, then pep, pancreaze, but you may see uh, another, uh, another names of drugs with um, similar contents. And what about complication of chronic pancreatitis? Uh, are protein and are listed in peak 
Also, most patients have impaired glucose tolerance, diabetic acidosis, and diabetic coma are uncommon. Likewise, an organ damage and also common. And what you may see, rupture of pseudocyst, pancreatic ascites, pancreatic pleural fistula, dilated bile duct, portaway vein thrombosis, intense inflammation of head of pancreas, up obstructed dilated pancreatic duct, splenic vein thrombosis, uh, ruptured side branch of main duct causing pseudocysts of pancreas, pseudoaneurysm, atrophy of pancreatic pharmacema and ILS. And what is the difference between acute pancreatitis and chronic pancreatitis? The crucial difference one take make to tell the difference in the longevity, longevity of the pain. Acute pancreatitis starts with sudden attack of pain that patterns out after a few hours today while chronic pancreatitis remains persistent for months. However, even then, that symptoms might not be available at it seems. For acute pancreatitis diagnosis usually begins by looking at one's medical history, physical examination, and a blood test for the enzymes in the pancreas. The blood amylase or lipase mm -hmm. view usually the elevated three times the normal level and that would be a scene of acute pancreatitis. In some cases, the blood does not elevate and other measures are taken to diagnosis, in such as uh, CAT scan. Chronic pancreatitis is more difficult to determine initially with blood test. Usually they are not used to diagnose it, but can find determine how many pancreatic enzymes are in the blood. And you may see variant acute pancreatitis and chronic pancreatitis. You may see almost always painful for acute variant and asymptomatic uh, asymptomatic over a long uh, period of time for variant uh, chronic pancreatitis. So, for today, that's all. Thank you for your attention. If you have questions, please write your comments under the video and don't forget Leave your name and group under the lecture. So, see you again and goodbye.